SpaceX is actively revolutionizing the rocket industry thanks to their development of the Starship. However, despite their best efforts, the second launch of the craft has stumbled upon numerous delays due to regulatory obstacles. While the Texas government has helped SpaceX in the past, it may not be the case this time. Let's take a closer look at the relationship between SpaceX and Texas, how the two have helped each other, and why their relationship is so important for the future of space exploration. As time continues to pass, the timing of Starship's second orbital flight remains uncertain and challenging to predict. This delay is not primarily due to technical issues with the vehicle or its engines, but rather results from regulatory obstacles involving the Federal Aviation Administration and environmental organizations in South Texas. However, this setback doesn't signify the end of SpaceX's journey. Despite facing hurdles from certain agencies, SpaceX remains resilient, largely thanks to the unwavering support it receives from the Texas state government. You might be curious about the specific role this agency plays in supporting SpaceX, and it's important to note that their contributions go beyond what one might expect. Elon Musk, known for his inclination to avoid external directives, made a strategic choice for his company, SpaceX, to construct its launch facilities on privately owned land in Texas, rather than using government leased sites. Since SpaceX established its presence in South Texas, they have successfully transformed Boca Chica Beach into the central hub for all things related to Starship. This location has now become a place of pilgrimage for both Elon Musk himself and space enthusiasts from around the world. In the eyes of many local elected officials and business leaders in Brownsville, SpaceX stands as a beacon of hope for one of the most economically challenged counties in the state. Reflecting Elon Musk's profound influence, a mural depicting his likeness adorns the heart of Brownsville, symbolizing the city's newfound prosperity attributed to his support. A recent economic impact study underscores SpaceX's significant financial contribution to Cameron County. The study reveals a substantial investment of $430 million by SpaceX in various county operations. Mayor Trey Mendez of Brownsville highlighted the breadth of this investment, covering payroll expenditures, construction projects, and capital improvements. Remarkably, SpaceX contributed a staggering $885 million to Cameron County's gross economic output in the past year alone. Moreover, the company has actively spurred job growth in the region. Mayor Mendez emphasized SpaceX's status as the largest private employer in the area, employing 1,600 individuals. Impressively, 71% of these employees are recruited from the Rio Grande Valley, underscoring SpaceX's dedication to the local community. Additionally, SpaceX has established a significant presence within the city limits of Brownsville. SpaceX has leased an extensive 46,000 square feet of space at the Brownsville Aerospace Industrial Park, located at the South Padre Island International Airport. To underscore its long-term commitment to the region, the company has allocated $500,000 for renovating and upgrading this facility. Mayor Mendez appropriately characterized these financial commitments as extraordinary, underscoring the remarkable impact SpaceX has made on the local economy. The journey began in 2011 when Elon Musk, 
CEO of SpaceX, shared his ambitious plan to construct the world's first commercial rocket launch pad with Texas officials. This vision was discussed in a glass-walled conference room at SpaceX's California headquarters. Following this initial conversation, Texas state and local authorities collaborated to support Musk's vision. They offered approximately $20 million in financial incentives, modified existing laws to allow the closure of a public beach during rocket launches, and provided legal protection from noise complaints. These measures were crucial, deemed necessary by Texas officials to attract job creation, a pursuit fiercely contested by many other states. Gilberto Salinas, the executive vice president of the Brownsville Economic Development Council, shared that SpaceX initially considered multiple locations for their project, with Brownsville being one among them. However, as Salinas delved deeper into the project's potential, he became increasingly convinced of its transformative power for the entire region. He expressed a strong desire for the project, underlining his firm belief in its significant impact. Despite Brownsville's appealing features, such as its white sand beaches, rich Texas history, and subtropical climate, the town often found itself stereotyped as a quiet border town, mainly making national headlines in the context of immigration and border-related issues. Recognizing Elon Musk's SpaceX as an exceptional opportunity, town officials embraced optimism. Brownsville Commissioner Rose Gowan expressed her positive outlook, emphasizing the project's crucial role in shaping a vibrant and flourishing future for the town's children. To enhance the appeal, the state of Texas provided substantial incentives, amounting to $15.3 million at that time. However, despite these encouraging developments, uncertainty loomed over the future of Starbase after a meeting organized by Musk at the site on February 10, 2022. Throughout the construction phase of SpaceX's Starbase launch site, numerous challenges surfaced. Politicians engaged in fervent debates about the launch complex's advantages. Lawyers grappled with regulatory complexities, and environmentalists voiced valid concerns about its impact on local wildlife. The process encountered hurdles, including significant delays and struggles in obtaining environmental permits and launch licenses for Starship rockets. These obstacles even led to discussions about the possibility of abandoning Starbase entirely. Elon Musk openly contemplated relocating rocket launching operations to Florida if further delays in environmental clearance occurred. While he proposed continuing research and development in Boca Chica, this idea didn't align with the economic development goals of leaders in the Rio Grande Valley. Local leaders saw rocket launches from Boca Chica as a significant opportunity to boost tourism in the region. South Texas supporters, including Jessica Tetro, a Brownsville City Commissioner and SpaceX advocate, were taken aback by the potential move to Florida. However, this revelation served as a wake-up call, motivating them to intensify their efforts and swiftly present a compelling case for keeping Starship in South Texas. The concept of Boca Chica Beach serving as the gateway to Mars has been integral to the site's identity since its inception. In 2014, during the ribbon-cutting ceremony, Elon Musk envisioned the spaceport as a place where historic achievements would unfold. Even if SpaceX transformed its Texas spaceport into a research facility, there would still be economic benefits derived from the demand for skilled workers. At present, around 1,600 employees are employed at the Starbase facilities, but concerns have arisen about the potential relocation of some of these jobs to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Interestingly, in 2013, the city was designated the poorest in America by the U.S. Census. Coincidentally, 
The same year, SpaceX chose this location for its next launch site. Commissioner Tetro viewed this choice as destiny, a saving grace for their community during difficult times. She expressed her hope that the positive momentum generated by SpaceX's presence would persist without any jobs moving to Florida or families having to uproot and relocate. In response to the looming possibility of a major aerospace company shifting its operations, influential leaders in Texas have spoken out. Governor Greg Abbott has emerged as a strong supporter of SpaceX and its ambitious mission to obtain federal authorization for launching its super heavy Starship aerospace system from Boca Chica, Brownsville. Governor Abbott voiced frustration with the bureaucratic process needed to secure federal approval for the launch site, seeing it as an unnecessary obstacle reflecting the federal government's tendency to hinder innovation. The Republican governor emphasized his collaboration with SpaceX's CEO, Elon Musk, and expressed his belief that gaining federal approval would not only benefit SpaceX, but also positively impact the Texas economy as a whole. Governor Abbott's unwavering support for Elon Musk and SpaceX has been unequivocal during the approval process. He has made it abundantly clear that he is fully dedicated to assisting the company in obtaining the necessary licenses and is even willing to work directly with SpaceX to ensure their complete presence in Boca Chica. This passionate backing from Governor Abbott is entirely understandable given the significant advantages SpaceX brings to Texas. With the state securing SpaceX's presence, the objective is to create a secure and supportive environment for the company's growth. Earlier this year, Governor Abbott urged the state legislature to allocate $350 million for the establishment and funding of the Texas Space Commission over the next two years. The rationale behind this investment is to foster the continuous development of the space industry in the state, ensuring that Texas maintains a leading position, not just within the United States, but also on a global scale. This commitment was outlined in Governor Abbott's budget document for the 88th legislature. According to the document, the proposed Texas Space Commission will play a pivotal role in cementing Texas as the premier destination for innovation and development within the rapidly expanding space industry. Its primary focus would be on policy development and the establishment of a statewide strategy. This would involve actively monitoring local, state, and federal policies and identifying opportunities to further strengthen the economic ecosystem for space-related enterprises in Texas. Despite the support, it remains to be seen if the Starship will take flight again and if the delays will make SpaceX consider moving operations back to Florida. What do you think? Should SpaceX abandon Texas and find an alternate location? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, you may also enjoy this one, which talks about NASA's latest statement about the lunar Starship shocked everyone.